Who's ready for some bullish Bitcoin news? Well, I've got you covered in this quick update and quick video talking about how so much Bitcoin is moving off exchanges. Why is it happening? Why is it bullish? We're going to dive into all that in this video. Appreciate you guys so much for stopping back by the channel. Hopefully you're off to a fantastic week. Uh, what is today? Wednesday? I don't even know. Every day is uh, a working day here when you're in crypto. You guys know that. You guys know the drill. And uh, hopefully you know to hit the like button. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Drop a comment and uh, give me your thoughts. I'm always checking it out, even amid all the scammers down there. Do not get scammed. It's a ton of stuff. I wish I could deal with it better. But uh, yeah, I'll never be asking you to do anything. I will pin a comment. Bringing in my link tree. That's it. All right, let's dive in. Bitcoin held on exchanges drops to five-year lows. Sentiment data giving us this. That's a good data source as well. So that's the crypto analytics platform talking about how Bitcoin held on digital asset exchanges has recently plummeted below 6%. Now, the last time the figures were that low was actually in December of 2017. See what happened in the last bull run. So many new people come in every single cycle, including myself, and hold Bitcoin large chunks of crypto on centralized exchanges. Then what happens is, well, FTX goes insolvent. They go belly up. And then people learn their lesson the hard way, like I did. And still, people want to hold their Bitcoin and hold other crypto assets, large chunks of them, even if they're not trading it, they're just holding it over on centralized exchanges. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. Learn about decentralization. If you don't know how to use a MetaMask wallet, get educated. There are tons of tutorials out there. It's super, super important. So with that being, says, uh, with that being said, the decreased trust in centralized platforms uh, in crypto intensified, of course, after FTX last November. Binance has also seen a rise in Bitcoin outflows during the past several months, signaling that many users prefer to rely on what? Self-custody. Not your, not your keys, not your crypto. Okay, If it's held by a third party, it's not your Bitcoin. They're lending it to you. You're, you're, you're basically being lied to, okay? You're pretending like you have it, but you really, really don't. Now, as analyzed by sentiment, Bitcoin supply held on exchanges has fallen to 5.84%, the lowest point in the last five and a half years. Again, steep decline occurred after last November when the amount of Bitcoin sitting on centralized exchange platforms actually dropped under 7%. As we mentioned, CZ from Binance, they've been having a little trouble with Bitcoin outflows. He is sure that his company will remain a solid custodian, suggesting that people should feel protected when storing crypto holdings there. The rest who have any doubts should feel free to transfer their stash in cold wallets, he added. Now, they're always walking a fine line here, right? Because they know that holding your crypto on cold storage and offline is better. But part of their business model right now is that you hold your crypto with them. Now, I do think a lot of these centralized exchanges can evolve their DeFi platforms. Look what Coinbase is doing. Look what uh, Crypto.com and many of these centralized exchanges are starting to do. They're looking into DeFi because they know DeFi is the future, right? Now, as Crypto Potato reported earlier this week, over 160,000 BTC left one of the platform's wallets in what was described as the largest single withdrawal in history. We covered that right here on the channel. Uh, and if you missed that video, it's because you're not subscribed yet. So make sure you subscribe down there. Now, analyst Colin Wu shed more light on this, arguing it is likely that the Binance cold wallet was internally adjusted to a new address, and the new address did not transfer out after receiving the funds. So that could be what happened there. Um, and he said, CZ, there are some FUD about BTC withdrawal issues. Here's why Bitcoin network fees are fluctuating. That's what we covered in that video. Uh, 18x in a month, he explained. The exchange sorted out some difficulties in the following hours. Thanked its users for their patience. Still remains the highest volume centralized exchange. But this is interesting. And I think it's bullish for Bitcoin because, as we know, the more and more people who take Bitcoin seriously, they want to get it on a ledger. They want to get it on cold storage. They don't want to keep it on a centralized exchange. If your crypto is on a centralized exchange, you're basically saying without saying that you don't really believe in it because at any moment you could just hit the sell button and get out, right? So I think it's bullish for Bitcoin. Also, it's bullish just because people are coming around to the idea and understanding the importance of taking control and taking custody of their keys to their crypto. So that's what I've got for you guys in this video. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. Hopefully you got some value. If you did, let me know. Subscribe, the like button, comment. You guys know what to do. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.